Today is all about Lalo, either Blizzard Lalo or Zap Lalo. We're gonna start on Town Hall 12, and unfortunately, my base, which I claimed on number 14, which was a Town 13, has been hit already. So I'm just gonna hit the next one up, which is gonna be a Town Hall 15, but is it really? Either way, let me plan out the attack here. So when I'm using Blizzard Lalo, especially hitting up, I wanna take out the Town Hall. So what I'm going to do is draw a circle on this base here. So here's a circle. I'm going to send in a blimp to try to avoid a sweeper and to try to take out the town hall and maybe an enemy queen or royal champion. I see that there's a sweeper pointing here and there's another sweeper pointing here. Well, if I come in what this way, I can land right about here, take out the town hall, grab an enemy royal champion like this. And then what I typically do is when I have the circle like this, my blimp comes like this takes out this section and i always drop my heroes either the left or right side meaning i would drop my king and queen either this way or my king and queen either this way right so my king and queen move into here but the problem is we have an eagle artillery and a clan castle down so what that means is sending the blimp here in the yellow section is that correct well for me, I'm thinking no. So the reason why I'm going to actually switch this up and send the blimp into here like this to take out the queen is because it will also lure out the clan castle. So this is why sending in the bottom section, I think, is a better choice so that the blimp can help take this out like that. And then we can get our king and queen to move their way through into the eagle artillery early and kill the clan castle so now i can take all this down with my heroes and then our lalo can pretty much come up and around the base like that that's gonna be a plan and then headhunters can move in and directly target the royal champion when i pop the warden ability it is a hit up for town Hall 12 so i don't expect too much but let's give it a shot here okay so Let's go with a Lava Hound here, and I'm going to pick off this Archer Tower so I can use like a Baby Dragon behind to help clear a little bit of funneling. So let's go with a Hound like so, and the Blimp, two balloons here. All right, let's see, and the Blimp. Do I need to freeze up the enemy queen? Uh, I think so. Uh, let's go Invis, Raid, boom. Okay, get another Invis ready. Okay, so now they take out the Town Hall. They can take out the Scatter Shot. I'm trying to kill... A oh, I'm trying to kill the enemy queen here. And we'll kill the dragons. Why not? Drop a baby dragon here. Drop you. Drop a wizard as well to pull the balloon into here. Alright, so let's go drop the king. Wall break. Two balloons here. Okay. Let's go Ice Golem Queen. Alright, so Teslas are pulling my king the other way that's fine we'll work with it all right i don't want to drop any more troops to kind of activate the eagle artillery so if you don't drop it's like i think it's like 200 space mate i think they might have actually up upped it so i don't exactly remember anymore but if i drop a wall break the eagle could activate so i don't wall breaker i don't want to activate the eagle too early so the queen's coming back around okay that's going down now we can drop a wall breaker Eagle watch. If I drop this blue, let's see, would have it activated? Are you ready? And, okay, the eagle looked like it wouldn't have. There's a tornado trap. And we'll drop a wall breaker down here. Not yet. Okay, went all the way to the left. Okay, let's pop the queen ability so it skips through and goes all the way through there. And now let's drop some balloons. Let's go and freeze up this. And so the hound can tank a little bit longer. All right, let's drop a balloon, Lava Hound up here. Now the Warden is gonna go like this. Freeze up this multi in that air defense. Now Headhunter's gonna run underneath. I wanna protect the Lava Hound potentially. Oh, I didn't clip the Lava Hound, but I did clip the Headhunters. No more balloons. Where are the balloons going? Drop the minion here. A lot of balloons. Okay, that's a red air bomb. The balloon makes it into here. Freeze you up. 36 seconds. Do we have enough time? Okay, the scatter is go. Oh no, the single stays up. The ward's going down. Ground scout's popping. 
I do have a... No, these balloons will die. Dang it. I tried. As a tattle 12. So you can see the thought process that went in here. That giant arrow was really nice skipping across, but unfortunately, I didn't protect the lava hound, which... My warden, I waited just a bit longer. I think I could have protected the hound, which would have tanked a lot more through the space. And I think it would have gotten a three star. But okay, you know, I didn't expect it at Town Hall 12 versus, it's not really a 15, but it did have scatters, which a normal Town Hall 12 doesn't. Now a 13 versus 13, but it doesn't have a CC. Either way, we're still just gonna come in with a normal attack in case there's air skellies. That's why I've got a poison, you know? I just wanna show you my thought process when it comes to a base either way so of course we're gonna drop a circle onto the base here so now where are we going to send it we'll take a look at we have the sweeper here and we have another sweeper where so here okay so this sweeper here is connecting right down in this whole section like this so i mean we can't send the blimp through here but notice we have the royal champion and the queen here so if we were to land somewhere in this section then we could get the town hall and all of this value so if i drop a hound right here it'll go for this air defense but if this air defense wasn't there um uh, well actually there is another air defense here so we might have to come in from a lava hound here in a steeper angle which is fine so we could take out all of this with the blimp or just kind of thinking like that and then our heroes could come this way so that they can move their way into the scatter shot and towards eagle artillery and then the uh, lalo can start flying around either this way or it could fly around the base that way so the royal champion typically comes in with the heroes keep in mind if i start the lol this way is more likely to lead to a time fail because i have to wait for my heroes to get all their value if i start the lol up here i don't have to wait for my heroes to get their value they could just the lalo could just start so if you're doing a lalo and you're running into like time issues time fails it might be because you're waiting for your heroes to finish so keep that in mind. So first things first, what I'm going to do is drop a hound and a blimp. And I typically like to drop like a balloon, one to two balloons behind the blimp so that I could take out a few buildings along the way. So let's go with the invis rage right through here. Okay. And now we can take out the town hall. We can take out some more of this stuff here. That all goes down. We even, oh, okay. We don't get the raw champ, but that's okay. Oh. They don't know where they're going. They're going for the single target inferno. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to go drop the king here. I'm going to drop a balloon at this angle to try to take out the cannon. I'm not going to drop the queen just yet because I don't want the king, the queen to take out these buildings and then force the king to go to the top. Now that the cannon's down, I can get the queen down. We can wall break through here. A wizard will one shot this. And I mean, obviously some of these are lower defenses doesn't have a clan castle keep that in mind as we're moving our way through pop the king ability i'm gonna drop the king over here to or the rc over there so that she can go for the scatter shot since the queen is not going that way directly okay while well, the king died oh yeah that's right i don't have the giant gauntlet on my king here you know i never i never unlocked it rip all right so the rc is going through here so now we have a minute 45 so i'm gonna start the lalo if i drop a hound up here it's gonna fly all the way across the base Drop some minions. Some more balloons here. And we can go and freeze. A couple headhunters. I'm not going to pop the warden ability yet because I think I'm perfectly fine. Obviously, I don't even need it. So when you pop the warden ability, you want to try to clip a lava hound and the headhunters if there was any royal champion or enemy queen left. In this case, it's not going to matter because there is nothing left of the space, especially with these crazy OP heroes. Uh... Hero, the ores for the hero abilities it's wild rage gems let's see can this queen okay let's see i'm gonna it's fun when you have the giant arrow and then you can use the arrow for cleanup you ready wait for it and where's the final buildings and boom got it <laughs> that's a lot of fun the final cleanup popping that ability and now we're jumping up to town hall 16 here with a zap lalo this is where we got the giant gauntlet maxed out what do we have for the giant arrow have the abilities and the level 18 haste vial for the royal champ so what i'm planning to do here is to take out the monolith and the invisibility spell so if i draw a circle like this so here's the circle and the lightning spell will be used right here 
I don't want to activate the town hall early, so I'm going to drop just the light, the earthquake up here. Six lightning is enough without even needing an earthquake onto the invisibility spell. So six, we'll take this out. And then we're going to drop like the raw champion. She's going to be over here. She's going to move like that. And then we're going to drop our uh, I king over here, queen, ice golem, and like this. So the queen's making her way here. The king makes his way here. Fun we'll funnel this a bit so the king can backtrack into the town hall, take that down, and queen will step her way through here. So we have two yetis, one yeti here, one yeti here. So the king can go in, then our queen can walk around here, and then the royal champ will clear this stuff so that the lalo probably can either come this way with a direct target into the enemy queen than the eagle, or this way, but it'd probably be more or less that way because we could directly go to the queen and take her out. We're gonna go with the earthquake on the monolith, so we're gonna so we don't forget that. So we go earthquake. That's down. Now we're gonna go with a yeti here. We're go with a yeti here. We go with an ice golem, king, and hunter, queen. Right. And we're not going to drop the Royal Champ yet. Alright, we're going to try to freeze this. Let's drop the RC now. Pop King ability. Queen will... Okay, out comes the CC. Ice Golems to be expected. Alright. RC will go invisible. Come on. Alright, so she's gonna get stuck on this hound. Uh, let's see, what is she going for? Pop the ability. Yeah, I wanted this to go invisible. Okay, King came back to life. Our queen is taking out the enemy queen. Okay, didn't take that out. Drop you here. Oh, RC still alive, taking out that multi. Alright, perfect. And cleared the hound. Alright, so we will go with the Lava Hound here. With a Stone Slammer down here. Drop a Rage. And make our way through. Balloons to directly target to move in. Okay, Balloons coming around this base. Drop some minions. The, the king's... The giant golem for the king is too crazy. It's... Oh my goodness. Like, the fact that it can take out all that value is insane to me. My The royal champion hasted up, got through that clan castle. And... Tunnel 16 is a whole different game now with these hero abilities. But you can see the values of Blizzard Lalo using some Zap Lalo here as well. And I'm sure you guys will be able to use a bunch of these different attacks in your uh, CWLs or in your regular wars as well. And there we go, Tower 16 going down. And let's throw one more attack out there and let's just do a legend attack and break it down live with this planning here. So what is this base that we're seeing? So this one we've got, we can't take out that scatter shot, but we can take out a monolith, which is the whole reason why we got six lightning spells. Um, there's a lot of holes in the base, but if we go and draw a circle real quick, uh, and I use the lightning right about here to take out the monolith and invis, uh, then I could probably drop my, like, royal champ to, like, get it through here, and then my king, queen, can try to go through here and try to take out this section, and then our Lalo could come through this way, but more or less come through this way to try to take out that town hall as early as possible. So, let's go with an earthquake through here. That. Let's go with an ice golem, royal champ. All right, let's go with a king here, baby dragon, two balloons. A freeze you up, and a queen. All right, let's see RC. Boom, pop her ability so she can speed up through here. Drop a balloon down here. What kind of CC is that? Hello, pop the ability. Uh, drop some wizards. Uh, I don't know what this CC is. Hello. Eagle's still not activated, so I'll let it, let it be. Don't drop any more troops if I don't have to. And 
my queen can take out the eagle. I got another wall break. I can drop it once this... I right, watch this. If I drop this wall break, the eagle might activate. Wait for it. And if I drop the wall break, wait for the store to go down. Now we drop it. Okay, eagle still didn't activate, so we're good. So the wall break can open up the wall. Okay, never mind. It doesn't open up the wall anymore. Wait, if I grab... If I hit this right, I can take out the sweeper with the queen zero. Wait for it. Can I? I think the angle's there. Boom. Got it. All right, perfect. So now we can lalo right on through here. Okay, let's go with another hound. Stone Slammer over here. Headhunters. Freeze. Just gonna rage through this. Okay. Warden ability. Another hound down here. Freeze you, haste you. Couple balloons like that since there's holes in the base. And there we go. This is another reason why I really, really like taking the giant arrow is because of angles. You never know when it's useful. And in that case, I saw the queen was able to potentially line up, popping the ability to then not get pushed back for there. So you can kind of see how it works, obviously in war and even in legends, when you got a plan on the fly.